Friends, this video I am going to demonstrate a quick method of consolidating trial balance of multiple companies of Tally Prime into Excel using Power Query. I have three companies in Tally. For the time being, please assume that they are not the branches but separate business vertical. Names are bit misleading. Okay. And I want to fetch trial balance for all the companies which are open. Okay. So first let's go to Excel. So I am using Office 365 version of Excel which is generally latest. So I will go to data tab, get data from other sources and let's choose blank query. And I will right click here and click advanced editor. Okay. And let me erase this query. So I will select and delete this. Now I have a Power Query project, open source project, where I have ready-made query for this. Okay, so I will go to that project. Don't worry, link of this project is there itself in the uh, YouTube video description. So in this project home page, I will go to Tally. So you would find multiple Power Queries and this one, Trial Balance Multi Company. So this one I will open. Let me click on this copy button, copy raw. So this will copy this power query to clipboard. Then again, all time and I will go to Excel and paste it here. Now, few things you need to set. Okay. Please set your financial year properly. Okay. From to date. So I was targeting for financial year 21-22. So 1, 4, 21, 2, 31, 3, 22. It's in reverse format for the power query. So you need to modify your target period Okay, here. And here you can even change your tally port number. Okay, so let's say if you are different port of tally, you can modify this. And this power query code is going to scan all the companies which are open in tally and merge their trial balances. So let me press done and this will start fetching. So you might get this message like this. Okay. Now, please notice. So ledger name, parent means group, primary group. Okay. Opening balance, net debit, net credit, closing balances, description note and the last column. This is a very important column. Excel, Kida, Delhi. Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu. Let me go to the tally. Excel, Kida, Delhi, Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu. So it, it has pulled trial balances of all this company. Okay. So let me say combined TB. Okay. Trial balance. And let us load this. Okay. So this way you have trial balance of all these companies. Okay. Let's prepare a pivot table based on this. So I will go to insert pivot table and press OK. So name of the ledger, that means ledger name I will drag to rows. Okay. Name of the companies I will drag to column and closing balance you can drag to values. Now closing balance follow uh, nomenclature debit is negative and credit is positive. So all the negative figures are debit and positive one are credit. Okay. Now if this is a requirement and then well good and enough, but let's say I want even better information like the chart of accounts. Okay. So I have consistent group names for all the companies and the ledgers might differ a bit. So let me show you a very interesting trick of linking this pivot table with group. Okay. So I will require one more power query, which will fetch group from group information of tally. Okay. So let me go to the again to my power query project so i will go one folder back here into tally 
and you can notice a power query by name group okay group table of tally so i will copy this power query code go back to my excel again go to the data tab get data from other source blank query right click advanced editor delete this and paste new one now this doesn't require anything like from or to period this is just group and since the group of chart of accounts are consistent so any company of all these three i can fetch the groups okay so i randomly selected let's say maharashtra was selected so i'm fetching groups information from maharashtra table okay so you can ignore many columns from this let me name this as group now you can see so this is a group name parent of this group primary group that means ultimate group and based on this i have created few columns like whether it is a balance sheet or profit loss account and sign whether it is debit on debit side or credit side so default debit or credit and you would see one more column gross or net profits so let's say if it is profit loss pnl then whether that group affects gross profit or net profits so that you can classify this in, into trading and pnl portion okay so let me press close and load and we'll load this into another <laughs> now in this combined tb i want group information like uh, this balance sheet or this okay debit credit and gpnp now there are two ways of achieving this either use v lookup or x lookup and pull this columns into this okay this is very one method of doing this or another method is that in pivot table you can create a pivot table from multiple tables okay let me show you that this is a very interesting trick so i'll go to this pivot table okay and you have option called more tables okay i will click here so it says that it will have to create one more pivot table for for this okay so it created a copy of same pivot table in another sheet now you can see pivot table by name group so let's establish a relationship between this okay so because these are not related basically so we need to tell pivot table that how this two tables are related so i will go to relationship okay new and i will say which is the base table so base table is my combined table and which is related table is group and which column from both the tables are related so in the combined tb ledger column my parent is nothing but group and in my group table the group name so these are both related to each other help us okay okay now the beauty of this is that i can drag any field even from group okay like let's let me show you so maybe i can drag something like this nature and i will place this below or above the row sorry okay balance sheet or pnl and i will even drag this sign it's whether in balance sheet side whether it is credit or debit so liability asset okay liability and income expenditure like this if you want you can rename this fields in power query editor or you can even add one more column and use an if function to tabulate this and then prepare a pivot so it's up to you but this way you can combine pivot tables and okay and you can link up this to your financials this way i know you all have many questions let me try to answer a few 
first question how to refresh if anything changes in the trial balance in the tally it's very simple just go to data tab refresh all and press here refresh all this will immediately fetch trial balance and refresh it okay only condition is that all these companies should be open in the tally otherwise the refresh will fail okay now the another question which you might see or there are high chances you would see so luckily i am able to see stock in hand but for many this line item would not be there so what is the scenario where you would not get stock in hand so let's say if you are maintaining inventory in tally okay so tally would try to derive the closing stock figure based on weighted average cost okay for the closing stock so in that scenario there is no separate or dedicated ledger for stock in hand so tally dynamically calculates closing stock figure but it never has any ledgers and in this method we are pulling ledger so in that scenario you would not be having any ledger but as you know that closing stock is nothing but a dynamic calculation which is done by tally where there is no entry okay so again as i told this is a trial balance not a trading account so you'll have to in that scenario you will have to manually calculate closing stock in your financials okay you will have to copy paste those figure from tally and the remaining figures you can refer from here question number 3 still my trial balance is not telling what can be the reasons okay there can be multiple reasons like let's say i have one more line item called profit loss okay now ideally you should ignore this profit loss okay because anyway if you net up the pnl with closing and stock adjustment you will get profit loss okay so you can ignore this and let's say in the previous financial year if you fail to transfer your previous year profit into profit loss or let's say reserve surplus this figure might vary okay this would even add up that figure so in such scenario you should ignore okay or maybe uh, create an entry for that and still if trial balance doesn't tally what is wrong then there are only two cases left that is your sales okay if you have any sales will pending okay sales invoice pending or purchase invoice pending but you have book gd and grn then it will show it as that invoice pending so tally will add up that amount while calculating while showing it in pnl so currently i don't have that scenario but for it for you it may arise okay in that scenario please book sales invoice or purchase invoice and again press refresh it will vanish away so that's all faq i could cover if you have any more you can always uh, ask me on the youtube chat or you can email or whatsapp me i hope this video helped you so request to like this video share this video and the project link with others and subscribe to the youtube channel for more such videos